Wow. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Duga, coming at y'all with another episode of Dropping Dimes with Mr. Duga. <laughs> and tonight, I'm going to talk about tonight's just epic football event as you had Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers beating the New England Patriots on the road 19 to 17 and Tom Brady's return to Foxborough. Uh, before I get into this video for everyone, if you want to give me a follow on my social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, I'm going to have all that information down in the description box. May not always get a chance to respond to questions and comments on these videos, uh, so feel free to DM me. And whenever I get a chance to, I'll get back at you. Come holla at your boy. Also, if you a Madden 22 player on Xbox One, I'm going to have my gamer tag down in the description box also. Um, so, yeah, y'all yeah, going to hear a little beeping noise throughout the video. Um, please disregard that noise. I apologize. Wow, man. I'm going to say this before I even get into the actual game. You know, this is, I've seen a lot of sporting milestones in my life. Like a lot of moments that, you know, sports that we, we going to always remember. And this was one of them. You know, uh, we've seen a lot of reunions, but I don't think we see anything like this. Look, and me personally, as an Eagle fan, Bill, I hated Bill Belichick and Tom Brady for a long time. <laughs> After that 04 Super Bowl, I hated those two. Um, and I felt good when my Eagles finally got the best of them in, in the Super Bowl in 2017. And my hate, you know, went away. Uh, I must say, and I've learned now, especially to have respect for what they've accomplished and what they've done together, uh, coach and quarterback. I mean, it, you don't get more dynamic than that in the NFL. You know, I guess Bill Walsh and, and Joe Montana is the next best thing. Oh, Chuck Noel and, and Terry Bradshaw or whatever. But this is uh, the top of the, this is the top of the, um, the echelon here. Uh, so... To see these two separate and, you know, to see Tom actually win a Super Bowl with Tampa Bay, which was crazy, and to see him coming into this game tonight, I mean, and the game actually being in Foxborough, uh, this was this was must-see TV, I feel like, for everyone, not just Patriots and Buccaneers fans, but fans of football. Tonight was a night for football fans everywhere, and look, I enjoyed the, the lead up to the game. I enjoyed the, the drama. <laughs> I enjoyed the pageantry, pageantry, pageantry. And I enjoyed this game. This was a very good football game. Uh, Todd, look, they went at it, man. And, you know, for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, uh, besides Tom Brady, Leonard Fournette, I felt like, was an unsung hero of this game. Uh, had a lot, he had over 100 combined yards, ran for some tough yards, caught some passes, really did his thing. Antonio Brown had some nice catches, Mike Evans. Uh, but, you know, you got to give Bill Belichick and that New England defense a lot of credit. They made it hard for Tampa Bay. I mean, Brady had to scramble for six yards to get a critical third down. Um, it was just a real, real slug out battle, back and forth fight. Uh, and Tampa Bay, Tampa Bay got it done. And for the New England Patriots, you know, I know a lot of fans are going to feel a little, you know, they, they cheered for time, but obviously they want their team to win. But look, Mac Jones played good tonight. I must say he, he played really well. Uh, what I think the Patriots need to do is, is get him more weapons, get him some more uh, wide receivers that could com consistently separate and I think they'll be all right. I mean, he could read defenses. He's accurate. He's not afraid of the moment. Uh, he, you know, I thought he actually played better than Tom Brady in this game as far as passing the ball. But, um, you know, good performance by them. At the end of the day, uh, Nick Folk field goal miss. Now, I do believe if he made it, Brady would have went down and put him, which that would have been even more crazy. Brady would have went down and got him in field goal range, range and won the game. But, Look, I just, you know, as far as the game, good win for Tampa Bay, they 3-1. New England, unfortunately, falls to 1-3, 0-3 at home. But I feel like as football fans, this was a, this was, was must-see TV. 
this looks sad. This was satisfying to watch to see two absolute legends, you know, have a chess match and go at it. And, you know, somebody had to win, somebody had to lose, and that's what it came down to. Uh, really nice win for Tampa. Tough loss for New England, but I felt like they really uh, played hard defensively and their young quarterback showed that, you know, he's not, I'm not going to say he's going to be what Tom Brady was, but, you know, he's going to be solid. He's somebody that they could grow into and root for, you know, years to come. Uh, but with that being said, that's all I got for y'all tonight. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Hit the like button for your boy. Give me a subscribe. I have Philadelphia Eagles, NFL, and all my other teams' content throughout the year. Also, um, this come tomorrow and every Monday from 6 p.m. Central to 7 p.m. Central. I do a live Q&A. Y'all come on that at, on YouTube. Y'all come on that. Ask me anything. Tell me anything. I'll answer your questions, respond to your comments, and give you a shout out on the live. Y'all should join me. It'll be some good stuff. Also, on Sundays and every Sunday, from 10 a.m. Central to 12 p.m. Central, I co host Big Time Sports Talk with Mike the Bandit. Y'all download the ESPN 1420 app and uh, come check out the show, yo. Some good stuff. Until then, y'all have a blessed one. Fly, Eagles, fly.